Well, I certainly didn't see that coming. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back, guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Before we get to Yezu's response, I do want to give a shout out to those that tried to help me in the comments of the previous video figure out how to reply to an APRS message. It turns out it absolutely is not there. And also a big shout out to those who suggested updating the firmware. I had actually filmed that video a few days before that firmware update came out. I did go ahead and do that and I did see a little bit of improvement on the receive of the APRS, but not a drastic uh, increase. So I'm going to continue testing with that, and I'll let you guys know. By the way, if you want follow-ups on a lot of my videos, you need to subscribe to the weekly newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday morning. There's a link down in the description below. Now, I also want you to know that I did not, in any shape, form, or fashion, reach out to Yezu. I assumed all along that if this was a actual uh, omission, like of the reply option for the APRS messages, that it would be something that was addressed, hopefully, in a future update. So when I got an email from one of the Yezu executives on Saturday morning, I was absolutely floored, and I've got to give credit where credit's due. So Juan reached out to me via email. Like I said, first thing Saturday morning, it was about 10 o'clock my time. That was roughly 8 o'clock California time. And he just said that he had seen the video and first wanted to apologize for the APRS uh, not functioning correctly. He goes on to say that they should have made a statement about this in the owner's manual you know, to indicate that it wasn't quite there yet, but it is coming in a future update. And he indicates that that is possibly going to come in July. He also let me know that those firmware updates would be posted to the website, and he would let me know when it became available. Now, he does say it is difficult to evaluate the performance that I experience compared to the FT5 without knowing exactly which antennas I was using. I, I uh, corresponded back with him and let him know exactly which uh, antennas I was using on both radios. That was a signal stick antenna. So hopefully they can take a look at that and see if there's something that can be done in the software to help the FTX decode more APRS packets. But I thought it was only fair to bring you guys the response that I got from Yezu, and kudos to them for paying attention to what's going on. Now, we can always argue if the radio should or should not have been released with all of the functions not working correctly. I understand bugs in the firmware, but this was just something that wasn't finished before the radio was released. Now, I'm just a guy on YouTube, and they didn't ask my opinion, but I think the smarter play would have been to have left APRS out altogether with the release of the radio, or at the time it was released. Then, added in as a feature in a future firmware update, and everybody would have went crazy when you added something new to the FTX. If you found today's information informative, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.